Welcome, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me. We're doing the uh, special heart spread. Doing a Mercury retrograde edition. And this is just for if there is someone that got away. If there's someone that's on your mind, can't get off your mind. And it's not really meant to be someone you're actually having any kind of relationship with. That will be the regular heart spread. Um, this would be uh, someone that's just stuck in your head, and you know, I've had it. Um, usually one that gets to you. Um, and everything's gone back to uh, adolescence until the Scorpio reading, so it's, uh, I didn't even actually turn into the kind of there's a relationship, so the advice was, yeah, go ahead and, um, and hook up, which, um, uh, you know, Sometimes you can hook up Mercury retrograde and go just fine. It's just kind of really the energy of it is for this here. Is going back and seeing why our relationship didn't work. What do we have to learn from it? What's because uh, we have, if we're thinking of it all the time and there's some kind of an emotional and you know, spiritual attachment uh, to it that's important for us to understand. You know, sometimes a lesson maybe we don't have to detach. You know, you have have a beautiful relationship with someone and we always think of them and that is beautiful and gives us joy and strength and nothing obsessive or bad about it, right? Just like, wow, uh, that was uh, great. Um, for whatever reason, they're not part of our lives anymore. That's great. Let's see what's going on here, guys. Sagittarius, Sun, Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter here, full disclosure. Do join me for the Soul Family Read if you haven't. It's a daily collective read for whoever resonates, by the way, as well as the regular heart spreads and now the singles reading. Let's do this. Uh, Mercury retrograde, see what we can get that's helpful. So here you are showing up Six of Swords energy. The kind of way I'm reading this now uh, with this is um, this would be the energy of kind of where you were at when you met the person that is uh, stuck in your head. Um, and you would have probably met them in some kind of transition period or else you would have moved very quickly like in with them physically or moved to them uh, but it would have been like you would kind of been escaping a situation you know I'm not saying it is but I think about my own mother and she didn't have me until she's 40 <laughs> complicated but <clears throat> she had uh, children young and she was just escaping a situation when she got married and like 16 you know so it can be that like uh, escaping move a situation and moving into this one now this person's still on their, on your mind so um, obviously um, you went into the arms of someone that became very significant in your life and they're showing up with the Queen of Cups energy this indicates to me that they're a caretaker um, they're, you know, maybe a cancer person, a water sign, Pisces, cancer, Scorpio person. It has uh, that emphasized in their chart. Um, you have a cancer moon, you're like this. I have a cancer moon. You're, even if you're a dude, you're like everybody's mother in some weird way. Um, and so right there, the dynamics, you're facing into the reading here, uh, in the reading. Um, you and, and you're... Uh, cancer person's facing into the reader so you both are engaging with each other but it would have been like uh, you know they're like uh, healing you uh, kind of energy um, you were kind of going to them and they were very healing um, kind of energy for you maybe a little bit older maybe a little um, they may have seemed to you a little bit unattainable and exciting in that way and um, you know that kind of energy and let's see how you're taking each other. And six of wands, that's how you're feeling towards them. Give me a minute here to see how they're feeling towards you. Ten of wands. Wow. Um, so they actually, maybe this is why you broke up. Um, they saw you ultimately as kind of a burden it's like maybe at first they, they wanted to be there for you emotionally. And you felt towards them like you, you wanted to pour it on to them. Um, they made you feel, and, and this might be part of the problem here, because you've you know you've got two sixes, so you're going from the six of running away, 
whenever you see this in the number one position of a heart spread in any reading, um, it's uh, moving away from a relationship and bringing it into the next relationship, your thoughts and, you know, bringing that energy right into the next relationship. And so when you get into this relationship, they're firing you up now, it just transforms into actions. Um, and I don't see the six of one necessarily being real um, stable energy like in uh, mature energy. Um, it's kind of ego energy. It's feeling really pumped up and good. Romantic phase of a relationship. Oh. And your person here with the Ten of Wands, um, definitely towards you, they're feeling like it's some kind of a burden for them. Transformation. So sad, you often have Scorpio in your chart. That's Scorpio Venus, very powerful in my chart. Um, the Scorpio Venus, uh, reading about that, that really did the trick for me. And I, after that, I was like, holy moly, I gotta look into this astrology. See what's up with this astrology. It's amazing how accurate that just that one position was. But this is the Scorpio card. This is your advice from spirit in interacting with this relationship here. And it's talking about transforming it. You know, I think too, like in terms of this energy, it's like this theoretical energy. Sag and so it's not really this active relationship, but why is it there? What's the closure that we need? And, you know, there's different ways to do it. Uh, you can just try to destroy it or expunge it, or you can transform it into something that's integrative, you know, in your life and sort of recognize it. Um, here, I think uh, what you could mostly say, Sages, is in this relationship, you saw someone who gave you uh, emotional comfort. This is emotional comfort, security, the Queen of Cups, security. And you really wanted that emotional security. So the death and transformation is going to be about developing your own emotional security, you know. And let's see. Nine of Cups. Let's see advice from Spirit. And again, this is really your advice. So I think what attracted you to this person, you look at the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups. That's emotional stability. Emotional, they're self-contained. Okay, they're emotionally, they're not needy. They're emotionally secure. They're aware, vulnerable, uh, mostly um, capable. Um, but they're, you know, not weak. They're kind of a master of their emotions, too. In that, if that's, and that's across from death. So that's what you want to transform into. That's what you admire about this relationship, about this person, the energy that they have, is uh, being a, uh, not being overwhelmed by their emotions, being the master of their emotions, and mastering them in a queen way. Queen of Cups is a, such a loving, caring queen, and the kingdom is the self. So you see someone's very loving and caring of themselves, takes care of their body, not in a vain way because it's the temple of their soul. You know, someone that guards their mind, uh, that uh, husbands their minds, careful about their thoughts, and you might see them move in a certain way that's a, a zen-like way, just a centered way. They're not... You see their moods, they're not uh, constantly uh, agitated in this fire way that we can be. Uh, and it can be very like appealing. I think that's what you're wanting to cultivate in yourself with this transformation, Sag, in the King of Swords. Now to go from the Six of Swords to the King of Swords is a long way, but that's the advice. You know, so I get this as a Sag too. Um, a lot of times we're mutable fire. We don't really know anything about boundaries, you know, born without boundaries. But this guy knows about boundaries, man or woman, it's not the point. But uh, can point to Aquarian energy, you know, uh, where you have Saturn and Jupiter right now. Uh, now going direct here, pretty much. And uh, this is being very confident, very forceful, um, really speaking up. Um, for ourselves. It's the advice from spirit for all of this as a whole. 
Um, it's, it's not necessarily saying to speak to this person, but I imagine like if you did speak to this person, it would just, this would be from a position of confidence and, and believing in yourself and saying something to them like, you know, I want you to know that I always admired you because of your open heart and your ability to love and the strength that that took that you could love that way without giving yourself away and that without undermining yourself. And I've always wanted that ability, you know, um, and getting this kind of Mercury retrograde, this is what it's for, clarity, strong clarity of thought, just our own thought of how this might uh, work here. And the Queen of Pentacles is the outcome. What a beautiful outcome with the King and Queen. And, you know, this brings you literally balance. There's nothing stronger than the Queen of Pentacles here. It uh, doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. But the transformation takes you then from the Six of Swords, this person that's afraid and running away, to the Queen of Pentacles. So this is someone that is very solid. In, in order to do that, it's like you need to make like a statement maybe of your value and of your worth, like a literal statement, like uh, you might find yourself saying, I don't know where you got the idea that you could speak to me like that, but I don't know who the fuck do you think you're talking to here? You cannot speak to me like that ever, you know, really getting strong with someone, asserting yourself, that's the energy of it. Um, and basically making someone realize that you are the Queen of Pentacles, you know. Um, if anyone, if they're going to come to you and see that you're solid and want you. You're, you're not, you're not going to need to flee. That's for sure. You know. So let me know, Sag, if you guys relate to that. It helps a lot if you leave comments. Uh, if you see anything here, I hope it's helpful in some manner to you. Do like, subscribe, share, and all that stuff. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. And I do need your help with subscription. Thanks, you guys.